So unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you're probably aware of all the problems impeding most consumers' ability to purchase a graphics card. Bots would buy up all the cards, and then a reseller would mark up the price to where most people couldn't justify buying one. Emphasis on most people. That, or some dirtbags were buying them to mine cryptocurrency. With all in that in mind, I think everyone groaned whenever new hardware was announced. We could all assume that the manufacturer's suggested retail price, or MSRP, would be like $500 less than what we'd actually pay for it. I think that NVIDIA announcing the RTX 3090 Ti was more of a funny joke than a device to get excited for. $2,000?! Some smug computer enthusiasts would say, $500 more than the base 3090 for only a 9% increase in performance is not worth it at all. I didn't say they were wrong. But now, with the RTX 4000 line launching later this year, and the nosedive that cryptocurrency took recently, these RTX 3000 cards are becoming much more available and in some cases, they're also seeing heavy discounts. Long story short, guess who now has 24GB of VRAM? Yes, that's right, I bought the 3090 Ti, when it was on sale for $1100 at Best Buy. And I must say, I am not disappointed. I already had a 3070, I know, I'm stupid. So you'd think that I would not have a reason to upgrade. Well, you'd be right. But not having a reason to do something never stopped me before. With my order placed and my new card on the way, the actual difficult part started. Waiting. I hate waiting. But in the time I had before my card would be here, I thought of something. Wait, how big is this card? Yeah, I don't know the metric system. So I thought to myself, I could just measure inside my case and see if it will fit using a metric ruler. Or I could make a model of the card out of cardboard. Yeah, now you see how my mind works. So I started building it out of cardboard and paper. And it was a good time. I had a lot of fun. Cue the design and building montage. So pretty much what I did was just got a bunch of pieces of paper, four of them to be exact, and uh, taped them together on the back side, and started drawing lines on them uh, according to what I assumed to be um, lining up with what the card looked like from certain dimensions I would kind of come up with on the fly. I used a metal metric ruler and a uh, compass and pencil and a sharpie pen to do this, and uh, it was pretty difficult to kind of get some of the proportions right just from pictures because there's really not that many pictures of the 3090 Ti Founders Edition on the internet that I could find that were unique. So I just put that together over a box and hot glued it down eventually. Halfway into finishing the project, everything was going really well. And then I got a message from Best Buy saying that my card was just there two days early. And just as you should expect from me, I got in my car and drove right over to Best Buy to pick it up that very instant, right? To be honest, I actually stayed behind and drew a little bit more on paper and cardboard. But then when I got to Best Buy and picked it up, oh boy, the thing is a literal aluminum ingot. Yes, a contributing factor to why my computer now weighs almost 40 pounds altogether. After installing the card into my machine, I went and played like one round of Call of Duty, but then I thought, you know, I haven't drawn on cardboard in a little while. So I decided to just finish what I started and complete the graphics card that I'm making out of paper. So here it is, the uh, 3090 Ti made out of cardboard and paper. I think I did a pretty good job, but there are some parts that I would improve on. For instance, the uh, edges are kind of hard and uh, angular when they're supposed to be rounded on the actual card. It's mostly to scale, but there's a few things that just aren't completely right. But all that being said, it's the journey that really made this the memorable experience. But after thinking about it, I think I'm gonna enjoy the actual 3090 Ti a little bit more than the paper one. <laughs>